it is the Buy, Sell, Love, SoCal team here to help you with your real estate needs anywhere in Southern California. And today, we happen to be standing in the Great Parks neighborhood Irvine. in Irvine. What is the Great Parks neighborhood, you ask? Good question. It is a community with mixed use, mixed density, and mixed income housing surrounding the 1300 acre Orange County Great Park. So right now we're standing in front of Novel Park, which is one of the seven neighborhoods that make up the Great Park neighborhoods. The other ones, and oh gosh, I'm gonna test my memory here. We got Beacon Park, Cadence Park, Parasol Park, Pavilion Park, Novel Park, obviously, Rise Park, and coming soon, Solis Park. That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so there is so much to do and so much to see. We wanna take you all around and talk about some of the incredible amenities and lifestyle things that you get when you live at the Great Park neighborhoods. Let's go check it out. Absolutely. All right, we are at Pavilion Park. The OG park? This is, I like this park. It's got a different feel than the other ones. It's yes, kind of it sure cool. Does. So we stumbled on this neat little map here. It's drawn in like a kitschy little style and it talks about all the different things you can do. And there are a trillion things, probably literally a trillion things. There's a tree house, there's an ice skating, there's a pavilion, there's volleyball, there's a dog park. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. But. Let's talk about pools to start because everyone wants a good pool. Well, let's specifically talk about HOA amenities, right. which okay. of course you've got to talk about the pools. Okay, so we have small pools, big pools, lap pools, um, all kinds of different Resort pools. Resort style Resort pools style with pools. cabanas. You could live here and go check out that pool one day and that pool the next day. Yep. Not every park has a pool, but there are enough to go around. And then you also have um, playgrounds. You've got fitness equipment Tot at one lots, of them. bocce ball, volleyball, volleyball. racquetball. Absolutely. We have dog park at one of them. Okay. So right over your shoulder is the greenhouse. So Pavilion Park has a really cool neighborhood greenhouse where you can go ahead and use the facility and grow, grow your, own. your own vegetables. Yep. There's even stuff growing outside, but I think the, the whole premise is to have your stuff growing inside. And then they have a farm, farm to table or greenhouse to table event where you can cultivate your own. And then you can use those eggplant. vegetables to put on your pizza to go bake it at the pizza oven. There's a pizza oven in the next community over. Yes. Wild. I know. You know what doesn't go with pizza, but I just thought about it and it's coffee. Uh, because at the first community, there was actually a coffee shop. That's so cool. So you're out there, you have the green space. It's a residential neighborhood, but they actually built like a bona fide coffee shop. You can go in there and buy your, your morning coffee. That's pretty amazing. There are so... And know, take please. it on your, your nice walk with all the hiking trails and biking trails and all of that. But that also leads that they offer yoga classes and a lot of other events in this okay. community. Okay, so events and community. We need to go explore that. Absolutely. Let's go talk about Let's that. Let's go tell them that. Each neighborhood in the Great Park neighborhoods is centered around a themed park. And mm -hmm. right now we are in Cadence Park. So we showed you all the facilities. Let's talk about the community because uh, I think we use the term, you get built-in friends here. We have clubs galore. I've never seen such a diverse long list of clubs. I felt like I was in college again. Knitting club. <laughs> I actually would do that. I'm just kidding. Knitting, <laughs> Knitting club, club, swimming club, wine woodworking club. club wine. I'm into wine. I that joined that one. super awesome. Built-in friends. That is so cool. So, gosh, okay, aside from clubs, lots of ways to make friends. You've got weekly programming. So, like, here at this park, they do a weekly story time for the kids at the Lending Library. They're actually doing one right They're now. They're doing it right now. Yeah, kiddos, I hear them. Uh, gosh, they've got water polo. They've got swim lessons. They've wow. got, like, all sorts of weekly stuff, like yoga. Yeah. And then they also do, like, like uh, semi-frequent events. Like, there's a chalk thing that's coming up with, like, chalk contests. Okay. Um, they do, like 
dogs and I don't remember what they called it. It was like, come have a, oh, Barks and Brews. That's Barks what it was called. Barks and Brews, like, come, come have a beer with your dog. Come have a beer with your dog. That's awesome. Um, they had, I don't remember, all they had all these cute names for things, but it was like a sip and splash or something where it okay. was like 21 plus at one of the pools where you could come drink, yeah. kids night out. Tons of events. Okay, the so the sense of community is is immense. And oh my gosh, a very active neighbor-led um, neighborhood watch, which oh, is amazing. Okay. I mean, okay. you know, Irvine is already so safe, but right. that really adds to it. So, right, right, right. Okay. So much to do here. So, also Irvine, in addition to being very safe, it's very known for having great schools. And here in the Great Park neighborhoods, there are actually four schools that were built. Specifically, specifically for, for that. Well, you can't have all these houses and then just filter into all the existing schools. And That's what was amazing. it? Like, I think over 10,000 houses have been approved for the Great Park neighborhoods, 1,100 of those just in May. So they are very actively still building here. Yeah, that's amazing. Lots to do. So you love it. You want to be in the Great Park neighborhoods. How do you do it? Well, you give you, us a call first. <laughs> always, always, always. But you've got lots of options. So if you want to buy new, Rise Park homes are still selling and Solis Park is brand new. You've got lots of collections from Lennar, TriPoint, Pulte, Shea, Truemark. I mean, gosh, almost all the big builders are here. Lots of options. Like Danielle said, you call us, we take you for a tour, we get you into a new build. But we can't forget, there's resale properties. We're talking resale homes that are 10 years old or less. or less. And they range in price from a million to a couple million. So there's everything for everybody here. We are confident we can find a home that fits all of your needs. We're gonna wrap up our tour of the Great Park neighborhoods and I'm gonna use one of Danielle's favorite words, we would be remiss, remiss if we did not mention the actual Great Park that the Great Park neighborhoods are built around. So here we are standing on the runway for what was the El Toro Air Base, mm -hmm. behind us a plane and the giant balloon that you can actually ride for free. So here we are in the Great Park. The Great Park has everything. It's 1,300 acres, 200 plus have been developed so far. And this is 50% larger than Central Park in, in New York. So they've got Ooh, some big, big visions for yeah. this. So yeah. one of the biggest things, my favorite thing about the Great Park is the Five Point Amphitheater. So right now it's in a temporary location. You probably remember there used to be the Verizon Wireless Amphitheater, Irvine Meadows, depends on what you call it. I used to go to shows there all the time. When they closed it for development, I was so sad. So they basically relocated that here. It's temporary now. They're in talks to finalize where it's actually going to be here in the Great Park, but they have huge names. They always get big country names. Luke Bryan has been here, Leonard Skinner. I mean, they wow. get tons of big concerts. It was there. like 8,000 some odd seats. I think plus, it's 12,000. Oh, okay. Was it more? Yeah, yeah it's geez, big. It's huge. big. It's real big. Okay. So then you've got the rinks, the ice arena. It's the largest public ice arena in California. It's got NHL and Olympic sized ice rinks. Got this is wildly soccer huge. Field. It's big. There's so much stuff here. Okay. So in addition to all the amenities and the event centers that you have in your communities, you have access to this great amenity. Oh my gosh. And we have to talk. I'm sorry. Before okay. we close it out, okay. Wild Rivers came oh, back. Oh, it just opened Another up on July Another thing 10th. that they closed when they closed the, the amphitheater, they also closed the old Wild Rivers and yeah. that's back. Just opened a couple weeks ago. You could ride your bike there from the Great Parks neighborhood. Your free bike that you can rent that we just showed you. So, hey, if you want to be in the Great Parks neighborhood, and ride your bike to Wild Rivers or a great concert or the balloon or any one of these other great things. You should probably call us first. Yeah. Because always. we will introduce you to the Great Park and the Great Park neighborhoods. Give us a call. <laughs>